Hi, and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on the new features in Sony Vegas Pro 11. This is a major release from Sony Creative Software, and we are proud to bring this to you courtesy of Streaming Media Producer. Now in this first tutorial, I'm going to show you the GPU Assist. This is an exciting feature for Vegas users because, for the first time ever, your video card can improve the playback and editing performance in Vegas Pro. So let's get started. GPU Assist is very easy to uh, enable or disable in Vegas, but before we do that, I want to kind of set up a couple of other uh, parameters and options in Vegas to make sure that we're out, that, that, that your system is optimized before uh, engaging the GPU. I've got a multi-camera uh, project here. I'm going to just uh, bring this down to kind of show it a little bit better. So a couple of things. First, in the preview window, you want to make sure that uh, the, the three main options are checked here. Simulate device aspect ratio, scale video to fit, and adjust size and quality for optimal playback. You can see where I've got it set to best full here, but I can tell you that in playback, it's probably going to move to preview. Um, since, since we're going to let Vegas adjust it, it'll probably go to preview half or maybe preview full. And then let's go to um, the preview video preferences. Right now I've got my GPU acceleration is turned off. So if you don't see anything in this dropdown when you click on it, that means you do not have a video card that's capable of doing GPU um, assist. So with that turned off, that means that you're using only the CPU to play back uh, your video. And we'll run a little bit of that here. And so with just CPU, it takes it a couple of seconds to kind of figure out where it is, but it's run, getting basically a full 24 uh, frames per second. And this is on six tracks of video. So to change and uh, to engage the GPU, let's go back to our video, video preview preferences screen. Now I've got two cards in my system and they're both, uh, they're not new at all. They're not high powered. They're both in the uh, GeForce 400 series and the more powerful of the two is the 450 so I'm going to select that now just as an aside the reason I have two video cards is uh, so I can um, connect three monitors I've got a HDTV and then two computer monitors connected to the system so selecting the 450 and choosing apply and it tells me we're going to have to restart Vegas for those changes to take effect and here we are with Vegas uh, backup and so with the uh, GPU, we're at uh, 24. And then uh, our preview is at preview half. So it's not, in my particular configuration, there's not a whole lot of difference. In some cases, the CPU only might give you better performance. Just because you have a GPU doesn't mean it's going to perform better than what your current CPU does. So you have to kind of weigh one against the other. If you have a lower powered CPU and a higher powered GPU, maybe select GPU, you can expect a better performance from that. But if you have a higher powered CPU and a low or mid-range GPU, which is what I have here in that GT400 series, we might see a little bit of difference in some things depending on the nature of the, of the media, but it's not a, a huge difference one way or the other. Now the other place that the GPU will be valuable to you is in rendering. Now, currently there's only a couple of templates, a couple of uh, codecs that, uh, that take advantage of the GPU. But whenever you go into render, I'm going to resize this here a little bit so you can see it. The, any of the templates under the Sony ABC will take advantage of the, of the GPU. So if you were going to render to a Blu-ray, for example, um, select that. And let's go to Customize Template. And down here under Encode Mode, you can either have Vegas select it automatically which to, for which one it's going to use, or you can say Render Using the CPU Only, Render Using GPU If Available. I recommend leaving it set on uh, automatic and Vegas will uh, adjust accordingly. 
A couple of things to keep in mind here. You want to optimize the preview settings by selecting the, the three main options here. You want to optimize your project settings. And the way you get to that is clicking on project video properties. You want to match the settings of your project properties to the actual media that, that you're using in the project. The easiest way to do that is to select match media settings and then browse to a piece of media that's in your project. I happen to have that right here. So this clip is part of our project. When you open that up, it uh, populates all the fields for you that's related to the media, where the, where the settings are the, or the match what's in the media. Because by default, Vegas will come up with a standard definition uh, DV project. And most of us are running some type of high definition. So you want to make sure that your project properties match the media in your, that you're using in the project. Next thing I would recommend is to, if you are using a GPU in your video card, is to update your video card drivers regularly and uh, do this from the chipset manufacturer. You can do this either from NVIDIA or AMD. And by the way, AMD and ATI are the same thing. AMD bought ATI several years ago. So you'll see some video cards branded ATI and you'll see some branded AMD. And new drivers for video cards are available pretty much uh, in, in many cases uh, every month or every other month. Um, it's the most frequently updated piece of hardware I've ever seen. Video cards throughout their lifetime will continue to update their drivers. When you update the video card driver, you want to do so through the chipset manufacturer, either NVIDIA or AMD. Uh, I do not recommend going through Dell or whoever, or IBM or Toshiba or whoever you bought your laptop or PC from. You want to go to who made the chipset on the card, either AMD or NVIDIA. Now, there's many other things to look for in discerning your video cards, so check the, uh, the Sony Vegas website for a list of supported cards and requirements for GPU. When I'm shopping for a card, uh, I typically will use a site like Newegg.com to search and compare. They have some great search tools to comparison shop and kind of get an idea of what you're going to spend. But then I, as often as possible, I try to shop locally at either a micro center or a fries or something like that where I can get service and exchanges if I need to. Well, folks, that wraps up our tutorial for today. I want to thank you very much for joining me. We've got several more of these to come for Vegas Pro. And so be on the lookout for your emails from Streaming Media Producer, and I will see you next time.